Hello, all, and welcome back to High Priest Reacts DuckTales 2017, episode 13, The Missing Links of Morshire. So we're going to be getting us episode, and hold on. There we go. I keep... I'm glad I started uh, making the video a little transparent, otherwise <laughs> my ha bad habit of moving into the shop would uh, make me hard, impossible to see. Especially considering how often I face palms in the last episode. But, uh, right, okay. So I mean, it's gonna be a little weird going back and watching this show after having just binge watched Jessica Jones. Uh, I can just see Kill. I'm just now imagining Kilgrave with the the voice of uh, Scrooge in this. Also, judging from the episode name, it. It's probably taking place in Scotland. All I know is it's got some My Little Pony looking things in it. Because it's been impossible to avoid screenshots for what, this episode. Yeah, because I know it was one of the leaked episodes. I believe there's one more and that's it. But I can't be sure. Well, actually, I am sure. I know there were two leaked episodes, and I'm pretty sure this was one of it. So, well, after the next episode, hey, finally, I can. I don't have. I can watch other people's reactions without worrying about being spoiled for mine. Because it seems not everyone had the decency to uh, sit on the episodes until they were properly released. Okay, that I, I shouldn't talk shit about other people. It, it it really is their choice. If you want to watch something after it was leaked. God knows there are certain things that, if it was leaked early, I wouldn't be able to stop myself from making reactions too early. I could stop myself from watching it until I reacted to it, but I wouldn't be able to stop myself from reacting to it to PM. Alright, okay. Let's just, uh, yeah, let's just get to this episode and see what it, it, it's about. It's in the world's most exotic and expensive horses. <sighs> Golfing on the underwater on the pyramid. One hole, no rules. So it's a golfing competition meet. Get excited, kids. So it's a golfing competition between uh, Glumgold and him. Donald McDuck actually invented the sport. Of course, he lost so badly that it's any permanent hearing loss. Go, Scrooge! Scrooge, you, that is not the worst sound you've had blasted into your head. But this sport requires a certain to learn the sport our family invented from the greatest player who ever lived. I assume because I don't follow golf, I want in. Out of boy, let's hone that wildly misplaced enthusiasm, shall we? We'll start. Wand McDuck, you won't be winning this year. You say that every year, plenty. Okay, if you want to be a winner, just follow these three rules. I'm already a winner. Nobody tells Flint how Glum goes what to do. You're fired. You there, green one. How would you like the honor of caddying under the great Flint Hard Glom Gold? Huh? A chance to bask in the collective glory of victory? Blurg. I take that a hole. Well, if I'm gonna be. Sorry! Timer went off early! <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Glamgold now very obviously switching the official coin for one that has heads on both sides. Very sneaky. He tosses the double-headed coin, and Glamgold has called tails. Glamgold clearly embarrassed, now trying to throw the coin into the ocean. Oh my god, he's so he couldn't even call the right thing on his cheek. Well, he's agreed to let Glamgold <laughs> win the coin toss. Wow, what a game. See you next time, so everybody. Where'd you hit the ball in the hole, I guess? Hit the ball? In the hole? Of course! I've been overthinking it this entire time! Holy haggis! It stayed on the course! It went forward! I'm not on fire! That might be the best shot I ever taken! Nice work, <laughs> Glomgold will use his one free 
free tackle before the speed round in the third quarter. What do you think is happening here? One heck of a game. <laughs> I would face palming too much from about launch pad. But just imagine me face palming. Hit the ball! Oh, hey, some mystical sight. You're getting your only of the today. See, the key to a good golf game. Take the penalty and let's get back to the course. A Scotsman plays it where it lands. Oh, that's something. Mysterious teleportation circles. <gasps> Do you know what this means? No more golf! I haven't seen any mushrooms, so... There are these two orbs! Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. It's a magic golf adventure! Guys, it's golf. It's still golf! Okay, that's it, I'm going home! <laughs> I love how unhappy about that is he. Welcome back to the Millionaire's Club Classic. Where, in a bizarre turn of events, the players had become trapped in some sort of mystical fairy realm. But they remain undeterred. For more, we go to two tiny horses. What are you... Ah! Told you! Greetings! My little pony things. The keepers of this realm. Talking animals wearing clothes! Oh no, did we die? Are we in Webby Heaven? Get you a... It's a mystical golf course, right? Did sure. ancient Scottish Drew... Wait. There are Kelpies. No. I thought the wet wet and I caught on to it the same time she did. Yeah, I'm still holding on to the fan idea that the Glomgold isn't even Scottish. He's literally just modeled himself into a Sprout knockoff. Louie, you greedy little. You were the least fun victims ever. <laughs> least fun victims ever. <laughs> I love the Kelpies. Too disgraced, but he don't make it. Uh, 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 uh. It helps me feel in control during a frankly insane situation. I like talking this way. That is a very valid reason to keep doing that. Baloney trampoline. Nailed it. <laughs> Scrooge still in the lead on the seventeenth hole. Team Screwy. Closing in. Hey, so is that weird miss. Supporting me all day. No, we need to support Scrooge. Not everything is a life lesson. <laughs> Not everything is a life lesson. Oh, good thing. I love that. Taking his time, I'm not sure why. There are lives at stake. Wait, who's? Oh, right. <laughs> this has been Huey Duck. Signing off! Man, I hate this sport. Yay. Come on, Scrooge! I know you can do it! Webby! Guys, no! What are you waiting for? Take the stupid shot! Not me. What? I can't even make the shot. You can. I know you can do it. Okay, okay. Filter out all distractions. Hips back, shoulders down, tail tucked. Ah, wipe them all, wipe them all! Ah. I 
Good news, that kid. Congratulations, champions! You are the first players to ever complete the Druid's Cup. Go on. You earned it. Scroggy and Dewezy? Sorry, it was a rush job. We really didn't expect you to make it. Now, who's up for a victory slam? No! <laughs> you! You let me turn to stone? You're the worst cardi ever! You're fired! As soon as you help me out. Ugh. <laughs> you know, we could use another player for next year's invitational. I'd love someone who actually gave me a run for my money. Eh, I think my pro career is over. I'm going out on top. Still, I'd be up for a friendly round now and then. Sounds grand. Maybe just the two of us. Well, there you have it, folks. Scrooge let go of his ego and learn that a good teacher's pride should be in his student, not himself. That's actually a good insight. Wow, I'm impressed, Launchpad. And you're choking on golf balls. They look like pasty eggs! I resisted for so long! <laughs> God damn it, Launchpad! Oh. Oh, that was a fantastic episode. Can typically convenient mysticism, uh, like, and all that. Oh, it was fun episodes, especially Louie the Kelpies. <laughs> hey, wanna go for a swim? <laughs> I think my best part is how closely they resembled something out of My Little Pony. <laughs> oh, well, that, that was, those, they were great. But Louie was also great, was like, uh, ah, yeah, great, it's hanging a lampshade as a TV trope goes on everything it has to be a life lesson. <laughs> oh, I love Oh, yeah, yeah, this is a great episode. I'm not sure if I'd call Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure how I'd rank the episodes of the show, but this is definitely at least on, could be on the top ten ones. This is fantastic. Oh, I love it. Uh huh. Oh, those Kelpies are fantastic. <laughs> uh, and of course, it, and of course, the plot itself, it was decent, you know. These unexpected, get conveniently un unexpected, get convenient skills and all that, while, well, well, not the most. Interesting of plots is enhanced by the re the episode well by DuckTales being DuckTales. The DuckTales flavoring helps take what was in the most interesting of plots, you know, golf and the whole jealous of jealous of your protege plot. And oh god, the Tiger Woods joke. Ah. Uh, Best play, golf play in the world, and it's a tiger. Ah. Uh. But yeah, that was a very good episode. But I and I I really enjoyed that Dan fix this time. Though so I'm confused by the name, the missing links of more, a Moorshire. Why is it called that? Like, the Miss of Morshire would make sense, but Missing Links? Huh. I'm gonna have to look that up. That, 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 I'm not sure I get the episode naming. Well, what were the Missing Links? Also, 
Did they let the Kelpies out into the world? Are they now free to roam the world? Because, ew, that's not exactly right. And, oh, oh uh, yeah, the Webby impersonation. I didn't even realize it was supposed to be about the impersonation, because it still sounded a bit like, uh, the pink one. We never found out their names. You know, honestly, when I first saw the picture of those things, I assumed they were gonna, just going to be a stri at some little, uh, strike at the Milo Pony Show, but now that they seem like, you know, just something that resembles My Little Pony, but is not at all related to it. Ah, uh, I especially love that I, I I put it together like seconds before Webby did a second before Webby did. Like, wait, their manes are wet, Kelpies. Ah, <laughs> uh, my oh my odd scattered knowledge of mythol. G kicking it again. Ah. Uh. But, yeah, 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 that was, that was a very good episode, I enjoyed it, I'm, I'm wondering how the next episode was. I mean, I, I admit, I'm not, I, I, I like the more plot episode, but you need to fill, you need filler episodes like this every now and again. Just to develop the characters. Ugh. <sighs> In the show that they don't always go for, well, I suppose technically this would still be a special situation, but you, you know what I mean. That their, their lives don't always revolve around the, the main plot of the series, even if it's important. Like, I'd really like to find out more about what the Spear of Selene is. Please and thank you. What is it? Why did Delia take it? Why does Celine have no idea what the spe a spear named after her a spear named after her exists? Uh. And, and of course, a new one was Mark Beeks and uh, Gizmo Duck. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. It, the audio was a little off in the last episode. That's because I made the mistake of. Uh, Recording this with the uh, my audio fuse was out, which meant it made editing awkward. I was able to get out the show's audio from my audio and then re-add it after editing my audio, but yeah, you know, it, it uh, wasn't perfect. So, uh, yeah, the. If you enjoyed this video, then please like, comment, and subscribe. Sorry for signing out.